Good morning everyone, my name is Courtney and thank you for joining me as we move into our morning flow. I teach goddess yoga and tread yoga at the SDFC and this morning we'll be doing our nice morning flow, a little bit of vinyasa. So we'll start in a seated position. Here we can cross those legs in front of us, sit nice and tall, lengthen that spine and slowly we can bring our head to a circular motion moving in one direction, allowing us to loosen that vertebrae in the neck any stress we've been storing there. Gently switching those directions. And here, just breathing here. Breathing back and center. Keeping those hands on our knees. We'll gently inhale as that chest lowers down to the ground. Exhale as we round that spine back. Allowing our breath to guide us through these motions. Making the circles however big or small as you'd like moving with your own pace at your own breath and drawing that last breath in here we'll switch those directions just a few more breaths so we meet back in that center on an inhale we can bring those hands to rise above us Exhale as we spin outward, drawing that right hand to the left knee. And as we inhale, we can lengthen through that spine, exhaling, twisting a little bit deeper, trying to gaze over that back shoulder. Once more, inhaling all the way and lengthening through that spine. Exhale as we further that twist. Inhaling in and exhale, me back to center. Once more, we'll take a nice big inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, allow for that nice twist. Inhaling as we lengthen through that spine. Exhale and twist a little bit deeper, gazing over that back shoulder. Once more, inhaling here and exhaling back to center. On an inhale, you can bring those hands to rise up above us, spinning those palms facing outwards. We slowly exhale those hands down to the mat. Here we can spread those fingers nice and wide and gently inhale to come to all fours, untwisting those legs behind us. Here we spread those fingers out nice and wide, allowing that palm be flat on the mat, distributing that weight here. Our wrist is stacked directly beneath the elbow, the elbow beneath the shoulder. And then we have our knees beneath our hips here, about a fist distance apart, meeting with that flat back here in our tabletop. We'll move to those cat-cow motions as we inhale, filling that belly up, gazing up, sending those tailbones to the sky. Exhaling as we round that spine, dropping the crown of the head down towards the mat and tucking that tailbone in. Inhaling in here, and exhaling out. Feel free to make these breaths audible as we move through these motions at our own pace with our own breath. Again, allowing us to stretch out here. It feels nice when we take that shoulder, bring it to the same hip, move to that opposite side. And then here we can meet back in our tabletop as we gently spread those fingers out nice and wide again, equally distributing that weight, taking those back toes to curl them under. And as we inhale, we gently lift those knees up, dropping those heels down towards the mat or however we can get them. And we come to our first downward dog. Here we can just pedal out those feet, feel this position, take, bring attention to our elbows. We spin those eyes of our elbows right here towards the front of the room. I feel a little uncomfortable on the shoulders at first, but just breathe through it here. And then if you're unsure how you should be positioned with this downward dog, we can push our feet back to a plank position. And then as we inhale, we inhale, sending those hips to the back side of the room, creating that upside down V with the body. Again, pedaling those feet out here. We'll gently take those feet to walk to meet the hands. And our first forward fold, Uttanasana. Feel free to have a nice bend in those knees here. Maybe shake that head yes or no. Grabbing those opposite elbows, we can swing side to side again, keeping that shaking going, allowing for that nice stretch. And then exhaling down to the mat, we'll gently take our hands to meet our shins, inhaling to a half lift with the flat back, eyes about a few inches above our mat, and Ardha Uttanasana, our halfway forward fold. Exhaling back down to the mat, We'll inhale, taking those hands out beside us as we reverse one dive, rising all the way up. Our hands meet above us as we exhale in AJ. <sighs> hands to heart center. We'll take this time to move through our sun salutations, going through three rounds of back bends. 
Inhaling to rise all the way up. Exhaling down to our forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling back down to the mat, planting those hands and stepping or hopping back to that plank position. We have the option to drop those knees down here if that feels nice. Again, keeping those shoulders and elbows and wrists stacked. As we exhale down, our elbows go backwards, leading with our chest, we meet the mat. When we end, we move into a baby cobra, sweeping that chest up as we lift those palms to float, squeezing those shoulder blades together, almost as if you're holding something between those shoulders. Right here, we inhale, rise a little bit higher. Keep a steady focus on the ground. That helps you with your balance. Last inhale, inhale, rise up. Hold that breath for three, two, planting those hands and curling those toes. The exhale, push right back to that down dog. Feel free to pedal out those feet here. Feel the difference now in those legs than you did at your first down dog of the day. And here we can definitely walk those feet, or maybe hop if that feels nice for you to meet those hands. Inhaling once more to our half lift. Exhale back down to the ground and inhale, reverse swan dive, rise all the way up. We'll exhale to a standing back bend, bending those arms to cactus arms, leaning back. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, H-A. <sighs> Beautiful job. We have two more rounds. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling down to our forward fold. Inhaling to that half lift. Exhaling back down, planting those hands, stepping or hopping back to our plank. Again, option to drop those knees as we exhale down through Chaturanga. Option to meet that mat. And inhale as we push up to our full cobra. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, a little more of a back bend here. A nice little stretch. Inhale, breathe in. Exhaling out. Inhale once more, deep in that stretch. As we inhale, we curl those back toes under, spread those fingers nice and wide. Exhale, push right back to your down dog. Paddle those feet, and then walking or hopping, we meet those hands. Inhale into our half lift. Exhale back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rise all the way up. Exhale to our standing back bend. Inhaling up. Exhaling those hands to heart center. One more. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling down to our forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling to that half lift. Exhaling down as we plant those hands, stepping or hopping back to our plank. This time you have the option to drop those knees as we exhale down, instead of our chest meeting the ground, we inhale as we move right into upward facing dog. Just the tops of our feet and our hands are on the mat. We squeeze those shoulder blades together, widen that chest, open that heart up, and breathe here. Steady that breath. Inhale in, squeeze those shoulder blades together, open that heart. Think of an intention for this morning. Curling those toes, we'll exhale, push right back to our downward dog. Pedaling those feet, and then gently walking or hopping to meet those hands. Inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling back down. Inhaling as we reverse swan dive, rise all the way up. Exhale to our standing back bend. Inhale all the way up. And exhaling that H-A. Awesome job. Thank you for joining me with these sun salutations.